Hello, welcome to Valve channel. I'm Stephen. Gate valve is the most common valve tape working in the flow control system. And also, valve design engineer were going to design different kind of valve gate for different kind of gate valve. So in this video, we are talking about several different gate in gate valve industry and talking about what is the advantages for different kind of valve gate working in the flow control system. In gate valve industry, most gate valve, the valve gate is a wedge form. Just like this illustration, the wedge shape valve gate is the most common gate in valve industry. The valve stem were going to lift and push the valve gate to move up and move down to open and close the flow control system. So wedge shape valve gate is the most common valve gate in gate valve industry. The reason why most gate valve manufacturers were choosing this kind of design to make a gate valve because this kind of one piece wedge shape valve gate are very easy to produce. It is one piece, so it is easy to casting and also it is easy to machinery. We just need to fasten each side of the wedge shape, we can make a valve gate. So this kind of gate valve can be very quickly to produce. That is the reason why most gate valve manufacturers were choosing this kind of one piece wedge shape valve gate to make a gate valve. But this kind of design had one disadvantage, which is when manufacturer going to grinding the wedge angle of the valve gate and the valve seat, manufacturer just can make sure one valve, the valve gate and the valve seat wedge angle is the same. So that can make the valve can seal the pressure inside the flow control system. But if the manufacturer going to produce 100 piece of the gate valve, valve gate, most manufacturers cannot make sure all the valve gate, the wedge angle is the same. That is impossible because the deviation must be exist. The little bit deviation for the wedge angle, it will make the valve leak. So this kind of one piece wedge angle valve gate are not exchangeable. If one valve valve gate has some problem, for example, the ceiling face are leaking, we cannot use a new valve gate to instead the old one immediately. We must grinding the new one to make the new valve gate has the same wedge angle with this valve, valve seat wedge angle. And then we can use the new valve gate. So engineer really want to design one kind of valve gate which is exchangeable to make the repair process are much more easier. So let's look at what kind of gate valve valve gate are exchangeable. Here is another kind of design for the valve gate. It is called a double piece wedge shape valve gate. This kind of design are better than the one piece wedge shape valve gate. The real double piece valve gate are look like this. It was going to combine the two pieces together to make one valve gate. And also, we were going to put two pieces steel rod in the center of each valve gate. On the top of the steel rod, we were going to produce one steel rod use concave curve and another steel rod use convex curve. So two steel rod can cooperate with each other and also can move with each other. The real steel rod are look like this. We can see the concave curve and the convex curve. Two steel rods will combine together and also can move with each other. The reason why we're drawing a thread hole in the center of each steel rod, this thread hole to make the steel rod are easier to assembling and disassembling inside each piece of the valve gate. When we're going to put two piece valve gate and two piece steel rod together, it will look like this. Here is after assembling two piece valve gate and two piece steel rod together look like. When we're going to close the valve, because it is two piece valve gate and also inside of the valve gate, it has a curve to cooperate with each other. So two piece valve gate are flexible. So when we're going to close the valve, we don't need to grinding the wedge shape angle are very accuracy with the valve seat wedge shape angle. The valve gate can automatically 
find the right angle to cooperate with the valve seat to seal the pressure inside the flow control system. So this kind of valve gate are exchangeable. Then the one piece wedge shaped valve gate. So that is advantageous for this kind of double piece wedge shaped valve gate. Wedge shaped valve gate design are very widely used in gate valve industry. We already talked about one piece wedge shape and a two piece wedge shape. But this kind of wedge shape valve gate design had one disadvantage, which is when you close the valve in high temperature flow control system, high temperature environment, for example, 1000 Fahrenheit degree environment, when the temperature cooling down to the normal temperature, you may cannot open the valve again. Because in high temperature environment, the valve body has some deformation. When the temperature cooling down, the valve body, the valve seat, will very tightly to clap the valve gate. Very tightly to clap the valve gate. So you may cannot open the valve in normal temperature environment when you close the valve in high temperature environment. So that will be a very dangerous situation for the flow control system. So engineers really want to solve that kind of problem. So we design another kind of valve gate, which is called a parallel valve gate. So next, uh, let's look at uh, what is a parallel valve gate. What is the advantages for this kind of design? Here is double piece parallel valve gate design. This kind of design will avoid the valve gate stuck inside the valve body by the temperature changing. So this kind of design will ever how the temperature going to change because the valve gate are parallel with the valve seat. So it will never stuck inside the valve body. The basic principle are very simple to understand how this kind of valve gate going to work. It has two pieces of the valve gate and we will put a big spring in the center of the valve gate. So the spring will push inside of the valve gate to touch the valve seat to seal the pressure inside the flow control system. The real double piece parallel valve gate are look like this. Here is a two piece of the valve gate and this is the spring. The spring will going to push two piece of the valve gate to touch the valve seat. So when we put this kind of design inside the gate valve valve body will look like this. So inside the valve gate it has a spring push each side of the valve gate to touch the to touch the valve seat to seal the pressure inside the flow control system. So that is the basic principle for double piece parallel valve gate and the advantages for this kind of valve gate is it will never stuck inside the valve body by the temperature changing. Except uh, the double piece parallel gate valve, we also have the slab gate valve. This kind of design if the valve body cavity have pressure, the pressure can push the flexible valve seat back and leave a gap between the valve gate and the valve seat it can relieve the pressure. So this kind of design is for the valve can easily to relieve the pressure inside the cavity. The slab gate valve design, the cavity pressure will push the valve seat back to relieve the pressure by the gap between the valve seat and the valve gate. But if the wedge shape, this kind of wedge shape valve gate design, when the cavity have pressure, how to relieve the pressure? The basic principle are very simple. We will drill a hole inside the valve gate and going to connect it with the upstream. So if the cavity have pressure in this kind of wedge shape valve gate design, the cavity pressure will relieving by the hole inside the valve gate, relieve to the upstream or relieve to the downstream and according to how to assemble this gate valve. So that is for today, several basic information about different kind of valve gate. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye bye.